Hello and welcome to Beholder's Eye Side Eye Glamorous Guests. I am Ryan and I'll be your dungeon master today as we follow this tale of the Canaries, a mercenary guild who brave the depths of mines and caverns in hope of adventure and reward. Who would like to catch us up from last week? Well, obviously I, the marvellous wit, will catch you up for last week. <laughs> Um, let's see, last week we, uh, we joined our adventurers as they woke from their, woke from their deep slumber. Uh, Wit, he, uh, he slept very uncomfortably upon a couch and, uh, in his own self-consciousness. Um, Alvari slept upon the, the most smooth of satin sheets in, um, in the nude, I guess. And, uh, Holder had a fantastic night and woken up by our, our, our hosts and we were allowed dress as we, um, not as fast as some of us would have wished but you know we, we got dressed <laughs> and uh proceeded to go meet the king and the queen who uh proceeded to be uh deceased which was unfortunate but uh i my the marvelous wit got a fantastic tiara and a crown out of the matter and a marvelous necklace so that that's great um the others they got some trinkets as well holder got a shield that seems to protect him very well and alvari also got some necklace of her own. Um, the whole world seems to go to hell, though, as uh, our delightful, you know, host seems to have uh, started to fight each other, and we uh, needed to abscond from this this establishment, really. So, uh, obviously, I, the marvelous wit, proceeded to lead the way and inspire my friends to, to victory, and that's where you join us. <laughs> So as we've gone back in the game, Wit is at the far end of a corridor next to the elevator to the next level, whilst um, Alara and Holder are down by the door to the brick. They can hear a loud banging on the brick door, like a whirlwind of fists hitting against it. And you're suddenly surprised when you see B7968 uh, run up behind you. And compared to how he's normally been quite composed, quite straightforward, like a very um, butlery type character he's moving out of character he's running up to you he's um my friends we, we need to vacate this premises urgently oh yes so follow me and he, he sprints off down towards the corridor down to the corridor towards the elevator sprint off after him yep and as you get to the set of doors just before the elevator so you're about 15 feet away you hear the heavy steel door fly off its hinges across the corridor and the large tendril type creature starts sprinting down the corridor after you do you get on the elevator after oh us? yes, he's the running towards yeah, yeah. you guys. Yeah. As you get on, B B seven nine six eight slams the elevator into like a, a faster gear than it was in before, and it shoots up a lot quicker. Cool. I'm going to. Hit... <laughs> I don't know if this will work. I'm going to cast vicious mockery on the creature. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is Holder's insult? Um, you are a rusty bucket of bolts. DC thirteen. <laughs> So, as soon as that, he fails. So, seven psychic damage. And he has disadvantage on his attack roll if he gets one. So. Uh, as the elevator starts to just get out of line of sight of him, you shout this at him and you see it like stumbles into a wall a second. And as it does, a shield drone is coming out of a room and just plows straight through it, just bursts that thing into bolts. And you've gone up and you can't see it anymore. Kill with a robot <laughs> with a robot. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Okay, so you come up to the next level, there are two clatterings of six javelins in front of you. It looks like there was a fight, you can't see anything left. Are you going to make your way towards the exit? Up, uh, yeah. yeah. As you go past what, the um, fallen rocks from before, you can see the rocks seem to be glitching in and out, uh, tearing apart, and you can see a heavy steel door through them. You can also see uh, in front of you, in the corridor you've come down from before, there is one triton who doesn't notice you yet, though could turn around at any moment, and you can see the, the um, gate guardian is currently beating the ever-living hell out of a load of other smaller robots in the entrance area you came up before. A triton is one of the, the bigger ones with the five the legs. The triangly ones, right? The shield Where ones, uh, I thought. The shield ones are, yeah, the triton. Triton okay. is the now, because we've got this far in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the steel door. Um, if if I like put my hand on it, or the the rocks just disappear, or your hand goes straight through it. It is goes straight a through greater it. illusion. Such powerful magic you have. <laughs> yes, I am um, quite amazing. Uh, I'm gonna try to open the door. Um, do you want to uh, try and use your tools? I'll give you disadvantages on using them just because they're slightly damaged now. This is a more of a robust lock, so you could actually try and use them. It's not mm -hmm. a delicate one like your chest. So. <laughs> Oh, disadvantage, though. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's an eight. Damn it. Another crit fail. <laughs> I want you to see this room as well. Oh, well. Um, your torsion you wrench that was bent from before just completely snaps in half. All right, I'll burst, try to burst through the door if I can. Okay. Is that just a straight strength? Or? Uh, yeah, straight strength. You can get assistance from someone else if you like. Uh, someone I, to help me? Pretty sure I'm the strongest. <laughs> uh, I... Oh, oh, wait, I think you'd be stronger than I. You want to give him a hand? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'll help him. A 19, then. As you slam into the door, it doesn't come all the way off the hinges, but it does start to bend in what you see inside you can see through the slit it's a it's not a f- refined room like the rest of this place has been it's a grubby cave m- more of a cave looking entrance and um, you can see blood on the walls you can see you can smell fresh meat and that's what you're gonna get from looking into it is it's no there's no light in there but you can smell these things and you can there's blood right near the entrance so how close um, are the the robots to us um the drone down the way is more focused on the larger guy beating the hell out of his comrade so he's actually gone towards that fight okay and roughly in time wise you've got 15 minutes till the base lockdown finishes we're near the end exit so i'm so curious <laughs> i do it again <laughs> assuming someone helps yeah, yeah. i'm assuming uh-huh. it helps. 16 Luckily, the damage from the first one makes this one pass. So, the door caves inwards. It's not been maintained at all, so it has fallen to the grade over the last while. And as you burst in, you see a room. You can see loads of barrels on one side that have semi fresh supplies. On the left hand side, you see a row of cages in varying sizes, all stained with blood. You can see blood along the floor and little groove marks where things have been dragged back and forth. And you do see a teleport circle that you do recognize because all of you have some magic training. Ooh. Well, I think that teleport circle could sure help us get out. Yes, yes, I, I agree. Sure. But to where? <laughs> well, do you, do you guys know any magical teleport destination? Because you just uh, have to speak the incantation to use the spell. Uh, no. Uh, not on this plane of existence, I'm afraid. I oh, walked I, out of bard school. Yeah, and I, I just recently removed all the teleportation circles from my estates. Um, <laughs> sure, you did. <laughs> What, can, what an inter, inter, fuck, don't worry. <laughs> what an inconvenience! <laughs> That's the. Word. How did you manage to remove them? If you we've been down here. Oh uh, well, I had them removed before we came in. I thought I'd get them what? spruced up, you know. And it takes a month. <laughs> Once you remove one, I thought I would put it in, the, in in another room, and you know, and and yeah, they take a month. It's, they it's take impressive. a month to do what? They've got to cast the spell on it every day for a month for it to stick. And it's just... Is it's, that it's, so? Yes, it's, who, it's a big pain. Who do you get to cast these spells for you? Well, one of my employees, of course. Yeah. What, what's, what's the name of the employee at your biggest estate that does this for you? Oh, Gilbert, of course. Gilbert? Does, Gilbert, does he go around yes. to all the estates and do this? Or does he oh, just yes. do the one? Oh, no. He, he does them one at a time. That's why it's taking so long. He's working on the first one so, currently. <laughs> So how did he remove all of them, and now he's just putting them in one by one? Why didn't well, he remove one and then replace it before he moved on? Well, you see, it was an oversight of my contractors. When you destroy the circle, it destroys the, the, the sigil, right? So, you know, we remodeled the rooms, and I, you know, I've got enough that I can remodel all of my estates at once. And, you know, Gilbert, he just couldn't keep on top of it. So he's only at the first one right now. He's about, what, I would say 15 days in? <laughs> Can I uh, insight check well, this? <laughs> oh yeah, you feel free. Um, wait, well, you, there, do a, you know, persuasion or, you know, the deception that this obviously is. <laughs> what? Uh, 23 for my deception? 17. Crap. Crap. You don't buy it, but you don't see enough holes in it that you've heard. You know, contractors go over, projects get poorly managed, and he's not a well organized person to run this sort of project, so. <laughs> Well, Wit, I would certainly like to see one of these estates if we get out of here. Oh, of course, yes. So while they're doing this, um, can I, like, it, are there, it, you said there was, like, a lot of fresh blood, right? Or is it dried it's, blood? Um, there's some that looks like it's, like, it's congealed quite a bit. It's not very fresh at all, but it's not extremely old. Okay, are there any, like, dead creatures in these cages or any bodies uh, no, or anything? There's no, there's no skeletons or anything that sort of whatever was, was in there. It's been taken away. Okay, and but there's no other exits either, right? No, uh, it's just a teleport circle. I think we should probably venture on. Yes, it seems well, are well and done. Oh, I'm I'm very well and done here. You know, as I said, it's a it's a shame, but you know, not as well hey. done as that halfling. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so he's a dad joke bard? Is that why he flunked out? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so you guys exit the room. And as you're going down the rest of the corridor, you do see this central robot, the pentadrone in the middle it has beaten everything inside its cage there are you do hear fighting from either side of you it does sound like some of the um arrows that you saw before that closed inside these caged areas there's some fighting going on you, you gotta choose do you want to go through the main section or do you want to go into these side areas and try and deal with the archers i think we should go through the main one one big bad guy that sounds more opportune to me i think we, i think we should just go straight if there's a bunch of archers well with the archers are they aiming at like us in the middle or are they oh uh, you wouldn't know yet i i Let's don't care I'll, I'll follow you wit okay well onwards and wit will we'll run into the room Okay. All right. So you'll, en you'll enter through that door. So make an initiative test. Excellent. No. Oh shoot. Twelve. Twenty-five. Alvaria, you are first. Okay. What do I see in front of me? Oh, okay. Damn. You have entered in. There's a um, oval-shaped room in front of you. Exit on the far end of the increasing corridor. You have six arrow slits, three on each side. You can hear fighting on both sides of them, so you can assume that maybe not all of them are fighting you. But you can't tell how many are going to be on your side. You see a big robot in front. It looks like he's taken a few hits, but he's not been hurt that badly. Uh, he is about 12 feet away from you. Okay, so I only see the one that's 12 feet away from me. The other ones yeah. are behind the walls, yeah. but I can hear you know, stuff. You can hear some fighting going in those rooms, but you're not sure who's winning it. Okay, does and the you, one you have... in the middle seem to be hostile toward me? Uh, yeah, he is not looking friendly <laughs> towards you at all. Just making sure. Don't want to attack a friend. Um, mm -hmm, mm, let's... He's hostile towards your group. You're not necessarily sure it's direct to you guys personally, because you do still have B7 with you as well. B9. B9, shit. <laughs> I'll give him All numbers right. for a name. That's fun. <laughs> so, 12 feet away, I'm going to move up to it and I'm going to bestow curse. Nice. Wisdom save against it, yeah. 15 is my DC. That was there, and he has. Uh, he fails it. Nice. Yay! So, he is cursed. Okay, so, um, is that your turn, Kim? Um, I will bonus action. I will continue moving past him and do uh, the Does action. he still get attack opportunity? I'll do the mantle cunning. of inspiration. <laughs> uh, so that's a uh, bardic inspiration. So there you go. Y'all get D 2d8 hit points, and you can come 30 feet to me. So how close would he be to... You'd be at the other end of the, other end of the um, oval. Oh, okay. So past the robot? Yeah, you're on the other side of him. Oh, Okay, nice. Uh, would he still get attack opportunity as Kim moved away? I would have thought so. No, she gets it too. Oh, really? Okay. Assume, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. you shouldn't oh. have gotten attacked that one time. Anyway. No worries. I assume you do that before you move past him. Yes, of course I did. Okay, um, so that's Kim's turn. Yep. you going to run away from my combat. I'm going to kill any of you. I, I know. I mean, like, I'm a fighter, guys. Come on. <laughs> I mean, okay, so the big guy's going to use his turn hopefully make his body say you're still within 15 feet if we if i move 12 feet to him and i move like 17 feet beyond i haven't fed yeah. 15 foot reach so so the big guy fails his test yay doesn't do anything and so next will be this archer here who will take a shot at wait um that's 23 to hit you yep that hits six damage okay um and then i Eight damage. Okay. Eight damage total. Eight damage total. And since he hit me with a, a ranged attack, can I see him? Yep, you can see him for an arrow slip. Okay, I'm gonna hellish it rebuke full him. Oh, okay, it's not to roll horns. Okay. No. So, uh, so DC uh, 16 dexterity save or take nine damage. Makes it takes half damage. Wow. So he takes. Uh, he does not look good. He was hurt in the fight earlier. Okay, um, so next will be... So that's, oh, I should have been here, so. And now he is in that one. He will attack the one who's just attacked his friend. Thank you for giving me a reason to hit you, Sam. Uh, that's natural 20. Uh, no, that doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... 14 damage. Damn! Uh, okay. If that, doesn't, if that doesn't take you down... No, he's that. still up. So it's you next. Okay, um... So you said I was able to move past the big guy? 
Yeah, you're on the other side of the room. You can run down the corridor to the elevator if you want to. Cool. Um, how many... So, you said that archers have cover, but I can see them. You can see them, but they would have full cover. Okay. How many of them would be within, like, a 10-foot radius? Uh, of each other? Yeah. Uh, from where you can see, you could hit two on two? the left or the right. Hmm. No. I will move past Alvari, and I will also bardic inspiration, <laughs> mantle of inspiration. <laughs> Fucking bards. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bards. So, um, renew your 2d8, everybody. Um, and uh, move your free movement. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just trade off. <laughs> if, if you want to ever run away, audience, make a glamour bard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or better yet, have two of them in your party. <laughs> Everyone come 30 feet this way. Actually, you get your movement allowance, don't you? So would you get it twice? No, no, I move my 30 feet. Oh, it's just a free movement, sorry. So. Yeah, because we have to move it. to where they are, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have five yep. of them just in a row, they just daisy chain 150 feet away <laughs> every turn. <laughs> yep, it's basically. Broken as all hell. <laughs> You're not going to have five glamour bards. I mean, it's so, I mean, bards are squishy. Come on. <laughs> it's true. I have 50 yeah. hit points. Every single really? one of these, Dang. every single one of these encounters has been deadly. And uh, you should run away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and holders you guys, like, I just wanted to fight something. <laughs> you guys all move down the corridor. Well, he took out three. So that's, that's that true. <laughs> Next is this guy. Where is he? He is here. He takes a shot at the bad guy and doesn't hit him. And this guy is next. He takes a shot at that guy. Uh, does hit him and kills him. The one that shot with is dead. Aww. And then it is, uh, it is Holder's turn. All right, so we're basically just moving down the corridor, right? You're, you're like right next to the elevator. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing else to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do like a ranged no thing and you. then get on the elevator. You see the big robot still, but you know, he's um, cursed. <laughs> yeah, how far away is he? He is 25 feet away. Uh, you do okay. you, Ben. Do whatever you want. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, he's not... I, I want to fight. Holder is cool. So, um, he's just going to continue down the corridor, get on the elevator. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, honestly, huh. he's going to stay back and protect his people. So, um, he's going to just like kind of try to block them as much as he can. Use his pole arm to good use if anything comes close. Yeah. Oh, um, and if anything comes ready up, I'm going to stab it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ready um, in action. Your action is anything comes up at all? Um, anything that's looks like it's going to attack us then yes okay um so b9 runs across the room <laughs> and gets to there it doesn't reach you guys yet that's why i like anything <laughs> lucky you can make it to you this turn anyway so what's up smash <laughs> okay um, oh no b9 okay so that takes us back up to alvari alvari Excellent. okay now you go to the the elevator mantle of inspiration we all run away <laughs> The whole five feet. <laughs> it's five feet. I'm not mantle of inspirationing us. Sorry. I'm just that joking. five feet could save our lives, Kim. <laughs> so are you getting on the other way, Kim? I will, and then I will take my short bow from the elevator, and with a 19, do I hit the dude in the middle? Uh, yes, you hit. Yay! Seven piercing. Down to that much help. His turn. Please make his ability, please. <laughs> no, it's a three. Yay! I'm not going to use this great ability that I gave him that I wanted him to do. So, um, you see as the door at the far end opens, and one of the, a quad drone comes out into the arena and takes a shot at you guys. It'll be um, one, two to hit Ben, three, four to hit Kim, and five, six to hit um, Sam. Come on, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. It's just Wit needs to die or get hurt majorly. Yeah, right. that hits. So I'm going a, to yeah. use a D8 for my warding maneuver. And does with the added to your AC, Wit, does that save you? Uh, what's the plus on that attack? It's right? a plus four. Oh, plus four attack as well. So. Oh, shoot. So it's, no. No? It, okay. It, it's sorry. one ahead. Okay. It was worth a shot. No, it was real close. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you had rolled a five, I would have made it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's 13 damage, Sam. Ow. Okay. 
So right as the was was it an arrow? Yeah, it was an arrow. Okay, so right as the arrow passes, like Boulder like kind of tries to swipe it, but just misses. Like hits some of the feathers on the arrow, and <laughs> yeah, um, I changes the directive to something more lethal. <laughs> um, I am also going to hellish rebuke that. <laughs> so uh, yeah. DC uh, sixteen dex save. He passes. They have plus two attack. Okay, so uh, six okay. damage. So that takes them down to still not friendly health. Okay, so next will be this guy. He's fighting still because I gave him this entire power struggle. So he <laughs> misses. This guy will fight this guy. So the power struggle he misses. Yeah, why use a boat indoors? That's a smart idea. And this guy will come out and take a shot at you guys again. Same numbers. Not cheering for a certain number at all. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, a holder is getting shot. Uh, does a 12 hit you? Not even close. No, sorry, 14 hit. Not even close. Okay. Um, B9 runs up, gets to the elevator, but he's un unable to stand on it this turn because he has stubby little legs. <laughs> so that takes us back to Alvari. Okay, so we are on the elevator. No? Yes. yes. You guys, Wit is not standing on the elevator yet, I believe. And B9 is just stood just at the edge of it. Well, I think I wouldn't pee either because I'm like, I'm trying to block everybody else. So, so yeah. yeah. So Wit and Alvari are on the elevator. Holder is not. Okay. Um. And B9. Don't forget him. And B9. He's not there yet. Okay. And we just leave them, right? What? Uh... <laughs> he was on rent. <laughs> Well, I don't care so much about the robot, but we should probably get Holder <gasps> out of here. Sorry. Kim! <laughs> uh, but I think I'm just going to stay on the on, on here and... Don't you still look aim. like the queen? Yes, yeah. I could. <laughs> well, but they're they're aiming at me, so... Anyway, I, so I try hey, to shoot the big guy in the middle. Yep, that hits. Okay, that's for another eight piercing. He is not looking very good. Excellent. Okay, and then... Is that your turn, yeah? Uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to do for right now. It's him. Does he get his turn? Yes! <laughs> he, moves th he moves 30 feet towards you. Still completely out of melee range. He will use his action to do paralyzing gas. Against all Holder? To, to all of you. It's a 30 foot cone. Nice. Oh, ooh. The B9 automatically passes because he doesn't have lungs. That makes sense. So you guys each need to make a constitution save. Oh, my best one. DC 11. You said that wrong. Oh. Nat 20! Nat 20! So, on a failed save, you are paralyzed for one minute. I guess oh. we're dead. That's why these guys uh, are really dangerous. Ugh. How much damage did I take? I'm sorry. Uh, no damage, you're just paralyzed for a minute. Well, I'm on the thing, so let's go. Yeah, but repeat. Holder isn't. You can repeat the save every turn. Okay. Oh, you can wait six so, seconds. Come on. Uh, <laughs> these guys, so that him, because he's not close enough. Oh. He will shoot him. Misses. Misses. Why aren't they punching each other at this point? They all miss their bows inside close quarters. Oh, I need to do a... <laughs> I need to do a morality check for this guy now. What does he care about the bug bear? I'm guessing my concentration has gone too. <laughs> um, yeah, you're unconscious. Yeah, so he's not, he's yeah not cursing. basically. Okay, um, oh, what would B9 do? Um, he is... Okay, I'm just going to do this. Would he help the queen? He knows, he knows it's not the queen. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, um, he, yeah, he wants to get out of here. So he will go on to... He will go over to your character, Ben. And he will use... He will try and pull you. Okay. Isn't he, like, um, tiny? Plus one strength modifier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you are paralyzed. So you can't resist at all. That's true. <laughs> so I'm going to say he passes that, to be honest. Um, he pulls you. You're, you're like, hanging on. If, if the elevator goes up at the minute, it will take off your legs. <laughs> <laughs> your legs. So, well, maybe he can build me a robot leg then. <laughs> okay. Well, you probably bleed to death when you get to the top. <laughs> okay, um, it's okay. I've yeah. got green flame blade. We can cauterize it. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> um, Kim, it's your turn. Okay. Um, to be fair, I don't think I win this round. I don't think you I went no, either. No, no, you, you were next. Sorry, oh, I did that in order. So okay. you get. I was gonna say I'm like bottom of the yeah. barrel, but yeah, I still didn't you're turn. You're the man. same as B9. I keep getting all over. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so That's an you eight. don't make it. And you're, you're so close. You're so close. Um, Kim, it's your turn. Alvari, <laughs> it's your turn. <sighs> 
Okay. Well, I can only do a save. Never mind. I was gonna do something else, but 13? You pass. You are out. You're no longer paralyzed. Yay! What do I, can I move this turn or is that my turn? At the end of each of your turns, you know that is your turn. Your turn is okay. recovering. Okay, so I can't do anything. Not even move. Next is the big robot. <laughs> Does he recover his paralyzing thing? Doesn't regain that. Okay. So he will move up to Holden, because he's the closest guy, and he will make five fist attacks against <gasps> At advantage, right? Because he's prone? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's the closest guy. No, oh. that's fine. No, that's reasonable. I mean, with my rolling, it doesn't matter. Bowling, it's a four, four well, and a six so for the first one. <laughs> Jeez, and five and a three. <laughs> the thirteen for the, th the third one. Does that hit? Actually, nope. So it's a fifteen for the third one. Sorry. Uh, it's still no. <laughs> I'm in plate mail. <laughs> hits. So you take four damage. Oh, my temp hit points. <laughs> and his last attack uh, does a nineteen hit. Yep. Take three more damage for <laughs> seven. I'm still at this plus eight. Cre this creature points. is now standing, so it's part on, part off the elevator. So maximum carry load may be a thing to think about for the elevator. So it oh, is goodness. now Where? these guys fighting each other in the background. Misses, 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 uh, misses. So now it's Whit. <laughs> um, so oh, that guy is just, just like there? Yeah, like, he's like, just at the edge of the elevator. He's within five feet. Oh, God. Um, What am I going to do? Uh, Whit will cast as his bonus action... He is going to cast Hex on okay. the guy. So um, the target has disadvantage with ability checks that I that I choose for it. And it, it does... Um, whenever I hit it with an attack, I do an extra 1d6 necrotic damage. And then okay. for my action, I'm going to cast Shadow and, uh, on Position him. it so it only hurts him? Uh, position so it only hurts him. And the thing for the uh, Hex is Constitution. So he has disadvantage. Well, he has disadvantage anyway. So it's a 16 for the save. So 9. So he's failed. And he's failed. So he takes 17 points. He takes 17 points plus Hex damage. Okay. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> what you see as you hit him with that is from the point of blast further away from him he disintegrates into dust into your face down the corridor one of the things that shot you earlier you see it just turn into this guy oh Ooh. oh i can't believe it stupid mojons <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it his turn <laughs> <laughs> what luck <laughs> he's literally the next one um so it will move 30 feet to there, and you guys are in range of the paralyzing gas again. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. please make a constitution save. Okay. Do I have to since I'm already out? You, you're, no, you don't, because you just auto-fail it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 12. You pass. Woohoo! I keep thinking I should have something for this, but I don't. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fail, you're paralyzed on the platform. Then it's... B9's turn. He's going to make another... Holder's first, drag. right? Before B9? No, nope, Holder's first. You're correct. You make your okay, save, Ben. No, okay, 21. There we go. You get <laughs> up and you pull your legs onto the... Onto yes. The <laughs> pull your legs. With your legs coming on, B9 jumps over and pulls the lever across. Oh, thank to God. <laughs> the next floor. I had the weirdest dream. <laughs> So, over the next couple of seconds, when you, oh, a couple of minutes when you're raising up, is there anything you want to do before you get to the main entrance? Oh, God. That's not a question I want to hear. <laughs> How long am I paralyzed for? You recover in the first minute. So, you've got okay. three minutes before it hits the top floor. No, no. I've got got uh, nothing. What? Um, I have nothing to improve my chances. Should we have to pat something? You said it's a couple minutes going up? Yeah. Okay. Um, Wit is going to sit down and he's going to play his flute for a minute oh that's that's an idea we could do the yeah um no inspired no. by wit i'm gonna pull up my upright bass and i'll play a couple tunes on it too cool <laughs> and um i'll join in with the... my fiddle excellent and we all jam out for a bit <laughs> and at the end of it each of you have to uh, make a wisdom saving throw oh no oh, that doesn't sound good it's not my strength what are you doing to us wit 13. Nope, you, you don't pass. I figured. 16. 17. Oh. Elevari resists you. Oh. Well, um, Holder, you know, is enamored with wit for the next hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, okay. I get what you're doing now. Yeah. 
<laughs> you just don't want to be left behind. I get it. No, I wanted to, uh, when we get out, you know, both of you to love me and, you know, oh, he did such a great job. And <sighs> Elevari will be hiding behind Holder as the elevator reaches the top. FYI. Be non be like, things are going to go bad. Hold me. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> I hold him. So, as the elevator reaches the top, what you see are two pentadrones, three tri-drones, and four quad-drones. Okay. Which, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty tough fight. It's doable in full, it, if, you know, full So there's eight creatures. Initiative. Yeah, do we need yeah. roll new initiative? Or keep what yes, we have? Please. Okay. Um, just so you know, Wit's not looking too good. He's got 16 hit points. 17. Initiative. Uh, 20. Oh, you know what? While we are going up, if if Wit would mention that he's not feeling well, I, I haven't seen you take a lot of damage, but I can cure you if you want me to. Oh, yes. Excellent if you can. But would Wit ask for such a thing? <laughs> no, he'll actually... No, he will spend his own spell slot to cure himself. How much... Well, um, then she ain't going to spend hers. Yeah. So first is Wit. Okay. Um. So Wit will use his last second level slot to Misty Step 30 feet. Um, he will then paw Mantle of Inspiration so that everybody gets their temp pit points and they get to move up towards Wit. Um, I can, I can target our little, uh, our little robot friend too with it because yeah. it's up to equal to my charisma modifier so I can have up to five targets. You, you guys just never mentioned it before so I never ran forward. Oh, so I need to no worries. On the initiative. Uh, um, now, and is there a clear path for Wit to run up without getting hurt too badly? You've jumped on the other side of all the enemies. Okay. Okay, well, Wit will run another 30 feet, and that's him. And next is... You said you have a plus two, don't you, Ben? A plus in two? Initiative. In initiative? Yeah, my in and it is plus two. Okay, can you roll a d20 for me? Sure roll. thing. Beat a three. I got wow. a three. Wow. <laughs> roll again. Beat a nine. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> don't roll a 13. Okay. I roll a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Just put a circle on him so you get, uh, That's crazy. Him, so you okay, so seeing one of you run further away than the rest of you, this guy will take a disadvantage shot at Wit. Okay. You're running okay. away from contain contamin um, containment protocols. No, my friend! <laughs> I don't know if that's what that thing does to me, but sure. Yeah, it I'm makes assuming you a 14 doesn't hit. Nope. Uh, 15, sorry. I guess that's what I hit. Nope. Um, 16. So next is Holder. All right. Um, so where am I at as far as so we moved up? But are we like engaged with everything basically? No, no, you're uh, five feet away out of range of everything behind you. Okay. And so all of us are there? Yeah. Or, sorry, Wait, I mean, it was just... with you a minute ago, but he's ran away. Yeah, but Alivari and uh, B9 are with me? Yeah, they're standing next to you. Okay, could I grab them and run? Um, I won't contest I it if he tries. One, you can grab one of them? Mm. He obviously grabs B9. I was going to say, if you grab the robot and run, <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do that. I want everyone to be safe, so that's who I am. But Okay, am I in range to attack anything with my 15 foot reach? Yes, you can hit um, everything apart from the pentadrones. Okay, then I'll... Would I know which one's the most threat? Well, there's four archers and three with spear javelins. Okay. Um, the archers are closer to you, the javelin guys are on the other side. Okay, I'll just attack the, uh, one of the archers then and see what happens. Do you want to attack the one that's just shot? Uh, sure. Or, actually, no, that doesn't make as much sense. I'll attack another one. Okay, uh, you can hit that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, 13 that misses. Okay. And I'll attack again. 15. And uh, that misses as well. Dang. All right. Um, Is that your turn? I will... <laughs> run away. I don't want to run away. Fair. I will... Protect no, us. I'm going to... Yes. So I will move nowhere because I guess I'll just keep the rear guard. Okay. So a shield drone guy goes. Are you standing next to B9? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So the drone moves up into range of B9. So and you then I will attack it with my opportunity attack. <laughs> Another 15. Uh, that hits because it's slightly oh, weaker. Nice. Okay. Uh, nine slashing. Nine slashing. Not enough to kill it, unfortunately. Right. So he will take all three of his attacks against B9. What? Poor B9. Protocols. Got you, buddy. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh so, God. for the audience, that's a, a two, a two, and a five <laughs> on three hit. Where my actual die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. So, next is a ranged robot. He gets 
four shots with their bows. So one of them will take uh, two shots at B9 and two, one sh two shots at Wit, because Wit is running away. Uh, that's a two and an 18 with dice. So one hits B9. And that does that plus that. that. B9 take four attack. That's you have to start with. Not too bad. And then two, two shots at Wit. It's uh, a natural one and a 14. So a 16 hit down. 16? That means. Yeah. Take seven points of damage. Ow. And then that Quadrone's bow breaks. Great. And then next is another um, Tri Drone. He will run up to B9 and take three attacks against him. Containment protocols. Uh, everything because he's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> so next is Alvari. Al Excellent. Uh, are they all within? Like, I assume they're like five feet from each other, or? Uh, so there are two tri drones within five feet of you because you guys are all standing together. The quad drones are t ten feet away, and there's another tri drone on ten the feet other away side from us. Them. Yeah, so behind you towards the elevator. So it's five. So these the guys are like right next to each other. And then there's three more behind them. So there's, are... there's three next to you. Three next. There's to you. four, four ten feet away. One fifteen feet away. And then the two big guys are twenty feet away. So if I focused on the ones that are, I, I want to get as many as possible in a ten foot radius. In a ten foot radius, you can get the three in front of you at the very edge of the range, and two of the archers. Okay, so I'm going. Well, you can get to... one of the archers and one one that just broke his butt. Okay, so I'm going to cast shatter. Third. So they all get disadvantage and it's a DC 15 con save. DC 15 con. So I'll do the two archers first. They get a plus one. That one makes it. And the guy who broke his bow makes it. And then the two guys have come into range of you. One fails and one fails. So that's 15 damage. Mm -hmm. The first one who ran in. And then the other ones would take seven damage. Yeah, burst into dust. And then the other one, the second one who ran in and attacked B8 is really not looking hot. He is hurting dramatically. Excellent. Okay. And then I'm going to move closer to Wit. Uh, 30 feet back is as far as I can go by Wit. And then I will inspire Mr. Holder. Give you another uh, bardic inspiration. Woo! Now, I just realized I was wrong on my inspiration. I have one more because this is from my old sheet. I've only used four. I have a plus five. Okay. I have an extra. Yeah, um, yeah you love to run away, so. <laughs> uh, he does. He's proficient at flee. It's true. So all of you have moved up now, including B9. So that will be two arrows against B9 from the next guy. Uh, both of them hit him. That takes him down to... I would like to use a D8 to help his AC, if that if it will help. I mean, I'll, I'll use it, but... Um, if you use it, it can help on... On one of them? Both of them, Any really. Of them? Okay. You can help on one of them. Will a plus that, two to his AC help? That would just push him beyond one of the attacks. So nice. I'll take away the... I'll re-roll it, because it's more fair that way. It's eight. It's in down. So he, it's still a hard hit, but you managed to like break one arrow in half as it like, misses him. Cool. And then there'll be one arrow of wit, and that's 19. That hits. Um, you take seven damage. Ow. Seven. And then one arrow at. It's really um, not looking good, guys. Alavari, <laughs> that's a 14. No, 16, sorry. A 16 to hit me? Yeah. Yeah. So I've been quite this time. That's eight damage. Um, I will do some hellish rebuking. I kind of want you guys to get out, and I kind of want to kill you guys at the same time. <laughs> really <laughs> odd situation to be in. So the two big guys haven't gone yet. You are in range of paralyzing gas. Nice. So because I am a tiefling, to do that. So it mm. is a dex 15. Sorry, a DC 15 dex save. He fails, so he takes 17 damage. Mm -hmm. So as the arrow that hit you, stream of fire comes through, and he just disintegrates. <laughs> I think and that's the first time I've actually been hit. As he disintegrates, <laughs> the other tri drone that hasn't gone yet becomes a quad drone. Ah. A, a, a blinding light flashes for a second and he, just, he changes completely. That's how promotion works, because it's awesome. That was nine hit points of damage, right? Originally? I'm sorry. Originally it was eight. Eight, okay. Okay, so that turns him. So the quad drone that hasn't gone yet, not the one that's just been promoted, will take a shot and he will roll two at B9, because, oh, that's not, that's, that's not friendly towards him. Mm. One misses, one hits. 
That's a 15 and 18. Right. Then there's one at Wit and one at Avaria. Mm. So does a 18 hit Wit? Huh? Eight. And does an 18 hit <laughs> <laughs> Why? 18, does it hit does you? Does an 18? Yes, it hits. Four damage. Oh, thank God. How far are you down? Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> there is another archer and two pentadrums to go as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Alavaria. Actually, I'm going to spend a spell slot. I'm going to uh, Hellish Rebuke on that. Okay. I need to take out archers. Uh, DC 16 or take 10 fire. 16 takes 10 fire. Doesn't kill him, but hurts him a lot. And then the other one missed you. It rolled a nine to hit. Nice. Okay. Well, that was against um, Alavaria. <laughs> And we know that's true because right he wants time. to kill Wit. <laughs> it's, it's, yo, he, he deserves it though. Okay, um, Pentadrome 1 runs forward 30 feet. You guys are inside 20 feet of him now. Paralyzing gas, please give me a constitution saving throw. Oh god. Oh come on! Nine. Ben is paralyzed. Wit is paralyzed. Five. 18! And Alavari is fine. Finally. That's his That's his turn. Oh. The other one comes forward and it dashes so it's right next to all of you guys. But that's his turn. The quad drone will use all four of his shots against B9 because they really should be trying to kill him. And that's, that's a 13 misses, 10 misses, 14 misses. He gets one more attack. The six that misses. So all of the arrows miss. Nice. Too worry about hitting the big guy that's just run up there. And that takes I'm... us back to the first... <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's wit you said again? It's the top of the round, so it's wit, so saving okay. throw. Saving throw. 20! Woof! You make it. That, that's your turn. Yeah, let's okay. And Okay, so now it is. Okay. So he goes to the quad drone first. Yeah, because he's circled. So he will take two shots at B9, both miss. It's a 12 and a 14. Take the other two shots at B9, drops a dice. Uh, he hits with his last shot. Um, damage is potentially who won't kill B9 this time. Mm. Um, as he hits, B9 just disintegrates into the floor. Oh! No. Pick up my dice now, okay? Well, well now Wick can run away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, they just want to kill the ones running away now, and you know, go for the weak, weak prey first. Well, I mean, I'm just laying there, so I'm probably mm. considered yeah. the weakest. Maybe. I'm um, not a robot. So... I don't know how they think. A tri drone that's standing back will run 15 feet towards you, throw all three of his javelin. Um, this dice will be for Kim, this dice for Ben, this dice here for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Misses Sam completely, uh, hits Kim with a 22, and gets a. Okay. Uh, it'll still be, it'll be disadvantage against you, Ben, because you're now prone. So. Right, yeah. He rolled a 2, so he misses. <laughs> Okay, how much for damage? Uh, so it will be a total 1d6 plus 1. 7 damage, that's maximum. Nice. Okay, and then he'll run the next 15 feet towards you, so he's standing next to you guys as well. And then it goes to a quad drone who broke his bow, so he's just gonna dash up towards you guys, because he's just out of range of a normal movement. So he's standing on one side of you. Then next is... Oh, sorry, Ben should have Ben, your turn. Constitution! 23. Pass, you're back up. I am going to action surge. <laughs> Um, and it's at the end of your turn that you take the save, so you won't be able to. A creature, can like a creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each end of it, each of its turn. Oh, turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I thought if it was different. mid turns, well, then you'd be able to. But unfortunately, not. Okay. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. Uh, Use it to dash yeah. more, Ben. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, that one's dead. So I can't do that one. Next is Alavari. Excellent. Okay, so first for my action, um, how many can I hit in another ten foot range? Um, there's a big one and two small ones next to you that you can hit. Okay. There's a big one just slightly further away, and then there is. And the bigger ones are the ones that are doing the, ones that, the, the paralyzing gas, right? Yes. The one in front of you hasn't used its paralyzing gas yet. Okay. Um, let's do um. I'm going to do shatter, and I'm going to try to hit as many of the big ones as I can in a 10-foot sphere. So if I center on the one that's further back, can it hit the one that's up and other ones that are behind it or near it? Uh, you can hit a pentadrone, a tridrone, and a quadrone that are in front of you guys. The other pentadrone's about 15 foot back, so you'll be able to hit him. As you know, he'll be oh. 20 foot back because he uses can. Okay. So the one that hasn't used its gas is the one that's closer to us? Yeah. It dashed up to you guys. Okay. I'm going to aim for the three bias then, and we'll use that at a second level. I'm at a third level spot, and that's um, DC 15 con save again for them. Okay, so... So the three that are closest to us. 
Yeah, so. The Tri Drone gets a natural 20. <laughs> the Quad Drone gets a. This is ability 18, but the pentadrone only gets a 11, so okay. he takes four damage. So those who so, um, saved take four, and then the one that didn't gets nine. So you Thunder. kill that guy completely. You turn him down to that number. Oh, and that's at disadvantage, right? For all of them? I did, uh, I'll be rolled to the car. <laughs> One of them failed. Right, so he dies completely. Yeah, you killed two of them. They disintegrated to dust. Which nice. did the quadrone disintegrate or just the tridrones? The tridrone and the quadrone disintegrated. There's no quadrones left to upgrade because he's dead as well. So and the pentadrone took a load of damage, but he's got a bit spare still. Dang. So just so you guys know, at the minute you are facing okay. three quadrones, all the which have bows and two pentadrones. So That's five what was things total. Uh, yes. So there were. So we've taken One out three which, altogether because there was eight to start with. Taken out four. Wasn't there only eight there to start were, with? There were two big guys four small guys and three shield guys oh i miscounted never mind okay that's right got it uh then so i am going to go 30 feet back um you take attack opportunity from the big guy who i'm doing right my bonus front. action my last mantle of inspiration okay and then you move back and then i move, back. You move everyone else back with you yes and and, and wit will move his with 30 you. with you yep because he's up yep you all move back as a group again <laughs> um so next that's that one so it's Oh, oh man, all the inspiration. It's been amazing. He would be better. Okay, he, this guy will take, there's three of you. He'll take one at wit, one at... No, none at uh, wit, right? One at wit, <laughs> one at Elevari, and two at holder. So the... It's got to die, Sam. Sorry. The This one is Ben, blue one is Kim, black one is Sam. That's cool. Okay, that there. So it misses Elevari. Does a 23 hit Sam? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, damn. And only one hit spent. So it only works when you're margarine, Sam. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the one. Come on. You take two damage, Sam. <gasps> oh, God. Lucky jammy so Still at one, right? <laughs> oh, one. One. Ben, you, ta ben, you take seven. <laughs> I take seven. The, the yeah. world needs wit in it. <gasps> Apparently, the world wants God. you. Yes. The pentadrone that's 30 feet away from you moves 15 feet. Give me a con save for paralyzing gas. Oh, God. Can I stab him real quick? Uh, how far away is opportunity? he? Can I puff that he away? He said he moves he's, up 15 feet. Right? Yeah, he's entered your range, so yeah, you get an attack. Yeah, 24. It hits. Six slashing. Okay, he's still fine. Still give me the okay, save. That's fine. <sighs> oh, my <Five>. God. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> Whip, Whip fails. Ben Holder passes. gets a 21. Uh, Holder passes and... Alavari? Uh, con save rate. Right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you pass as well. Woo. Damn it. And it moves itself at 15 feet, oh, so it's in. Holder's engaged. enamored with wit, remember. I know. Ben. I know. And then <laughs> the other one, does he regain his gas? <laughs> He does not. So he just dashes past you guys a little bit and is pos positioned on the other side, 10 feet away from you. Jerk. It's almost like they're learning your tactics. What? And then there are... How much uh, further do we have to move to across this area, by the way? Uh, it's a 350 feet area and you guys have moved 60, 60, and 180. Okay, so we're about halfway. Yeah, but um, there's a, there's a, there is actually a maximum engagement distance for the robots. So. Okay, so be two die two against the guys down and one against each of the other two. Um, <laughs> all of them miss. And the second attack against Sam. It's a natural 20, but I'm going to lose that. Um, does a 20 hit Sam? Yep. I rolled a natural 20 and a 16 plus 4. Yeah. <laughs> Any damage is damage. Yeah, yeah. six damage. So he's uh, oh, unconscious. He's got zero hit points. There's a big guy standing right in front of you. Oh. Um, so next up is Wit. Have a death save for it, please. Yeah. You look so happy, right? Oh. Uh, failure <laughs> with the two. <laughs> two. Okay. So it's only one fail if you were a, a crit. Um, if you were a one, you would have double that. So yeah. next is. So it's this guy. He will take two attacks against Holder and two attacks against Alvari, both at disadvantage because of range now. So Alvari, that's a 16. Yeah, that and hits. First attack to hit. So take six damage. Okay. Second attack is a 12, I'm assuming misses. Yes, yeah, it does. And then for Holder, that's a 16, I'm assuming misses. Miss. And a 22. That hits. There's another natural 20 and an 18. <laughs> All my natural 20s have been disadvantaged away in this game. Seven damage. 
All right. So uh, wait, why why did you have a disadvantage? Range. They're still far back. They haven't moved oh, okay. up as much. And it's you now, man. There's right. a big guy right in front of you. There's one ten feet back behind you, and there's a dead elf with a tiara on his head. <laughs> oh, a dying elf. He's not dead yet. Yeah. Um. Oh. All right. I'm gonna attack the big guy. Okay. Twenty-five hits. Eleven slashing. Ooh. Okay. He is looking very bad. Then I'm gonna bonus action real quick to hit him with the butt. A crit. Hit. <laughs> uh, seven damage. He is dead. You see him disintegrate into dust, and you see the next closest one, which is this guy here, turn into one. And how far away is he? He is the. What's the next other person again? He is exactly 60 meters away. 60. Yeah, he okay. was the only one that was moved up so far. So he was actually in normal range. He's taken away okay. any range attacking us. <laughs> All right. Um, but he does gain that ability back. Yeah. He well, I can't really do anything, anything so. Can I pick Wit up and run? Um, yeah, you can pick up his corpse. Cool. You could stabilize him as well, the medical test if you want to. I don't think that's gonna happen. Or any healing would get oh, back out. Then I, I'll uh, give him a healing potion. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> thank you for Holder being a good person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. For what it's worth, Five Alvari healing. would have healed you if you. Oh, I, I know. Said something. I know. I was playing him like he he was he is. You're back up to five, Sam. She doesn't completely oh. hate you yet. Uh, so it's he's long right. So next he's dead. Him. So Alvari, for next. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like Wit is taken care of for the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Can you give me a re-explanation of where all of the... There's one yep. that's behind so us. There's one between you and the exit. Okay. He's 10 feet away. Okay. There is one 60 meters away who's just turned into a pentadrone. And there are two that are about 130 meters away. Okay. So the one that's immediately behind us, I'm going to go up to, and I don't suppose I can sneak attack it. That would be too easy. No, it There's... knows you're there. <laughs> You'd have to have an ally within five feet of it. Surprise! No. Uh, um, 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 I don't have anything special that I can do then. So I'll just stab it, I guess. 24 to hit. Hits. And then at seven piercing damage. Five, yep. Okie doke. And then bonus. Any more attacking or? Um... I'm going to disengage and move 20 feet beyond it. Okay, so doesn't get your attack again. Correct. So next is... He's dead, so it's next is him. Does he regain his gas attack? Um, he's got a D6 for that. Um, so he does. Awesome. He moved the minus one to that. So he, if I can get a constitution save from Wit and Holder. N no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> <laughs> Five. That no, that's intelligence. Sorry. Eleven. Eleven is just under. Oh. And it goes back down. And I'm in Holder's arms though, <laughs> so that's good. Holder's uh, doing his the, job. Holding. Ben, you get a attack opportunity as this guy moves up to right next to Wit. Twenty-four to hit. Hits. Fifteen slashing. Jesus. He's hurt. Nice. Uh, man, it's not and is this the one that just turned into the big one? No, that's the one that was behind you guys. The one that's okay. just turned in will go in a second. This guy will take four shots at Kim because she's running the furthest away. I want to do one shot at Sam just because, but I shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, that's a miss, followed by a miss, followed by a miss, followed by a miss. That was great. Excellent. The other one will dash its full movement to be right next to Whip, and it will use. Is no, it's not. Um, is it use gas ability? No, I don't think you have any amount of inspiration though. I have one. He does. Oh, damn it. So, <laughs> I you, don't. You can't get up and get away. So yeah. So okay, it's close. So next is back to the top. Whip, make us over front. <sighs> okay. Pass. Okay, You're back pass. up for that end your turn. Uh, next. I could have gotten you guys all out this turn. The other guy, so he's going to take two shots at Alavari and one shot at each of the other guys. So that's a miss. Followed by the 17 hit. Who? You. Me? Yeah. Yep. Take three points of damage. Okay. And one against Holder. That's a seven. So that's going to hit. And that's an eight against Wit. <laughs> he missed a lot of hits then. That wasn't get just against Sam. Yeah, it's more against Wit than anything else. Um, Holder, it's your turn. 
All right, so I got someone right next to me, right? Yes, you have two pentadrones, one on each side of you, and okay. Wick standing directly next to you. And the one I just hit? Uh, um, he is behind you. He is on low health. Okay, so I'm not going to hit that one first. I'm going to hit a different one. For an 18. That hits. 12 slashing. Let me think of these creatures. Would be, would be too tough for you guys. Um, so, they kind of uh, are. <laughs> It's because they paralyzing upgrade. thing. Yeah, is the, is the paral? It's only the paralyzing thing though. Yeah, you've only it, got right? a guy that can paralyze always because they yeah. upgrade. <laughs> All right, yeah. so that guy's still up? Yeah, he's still up. He's, he's hurt, but he's not as hurt as the other one. All right, second attack, 26 to hit. Yes. 11 slashing. Still up. Bonus action to butt him. Crit again. <laughs> and that's, uh, uh, so that should be 12 damage. Okay, you kill that one. Okay, and then I'm going to action just got surge. You. And then you see one of the other drones who hasn't gone yet change into a pentadrone. He gains his health. Okay. Uh, yep. All right, the already one, the one that I already hurt real bad. <laughs> Am I going to wait? Can I do the pull arm first, or do I have to attack first? Uh, I believe it would be off an attack. Okay, so I'm going to attack the non-hurt one. Can you attack for both right. action again? Because you've done yeah, the action three surge attacks. gives you both. Oh, it gives you an action. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So the non non-hurt one. 19 to hit. Hits. 13 kills slashing. It. it kills it? Yeah. Nice. Then the last quad drone turns into a pentadrone. Gains its health back. Let's so see. I will hit that. <laughs> no, they're, they're 130 feet away. Oh, okay. I was thinking there was three kind of close to us. No, no. That, that, there were two next to you. You just took one from full to dead and killed the other one that was hurt, heavily hurt. Nice. Okay. Well, I guess... I kind of have to be done then. Should have um, used the paralyze on you. <laughs> I was like, no, I'll wait for Sam to get back up there. I hit him again. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're wearing the move, tiara, right? Sam, okay? They know the tiara. <laughs> uh, so I guess up, so. I'll move back then. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, you've got your full movement and there's nothing around you. And okay. you are beyond the that. 200 feet line. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, I am going to use my action to dash and go 60 feet. Wait. And then use my bonus action to Mantle of Inspiration, my last one. Yeah. yeah. So, everybody. You know, the, you know, the, the As you move beyond a certain distance, she watches the pentadrones that were pursuing you turn back. Oh, thank God. Uh, well, I think after I rest up, we can come back and finish them off. You're sure welcome to do that. And then we can that. declare this mine safe. <laughs> I think you would be perfect to come do that, Holder. Oh, thank you, Alvar. You're such a good fan. Uh, yes, I think I could use a nap myself. Well, what? Poor B9. Yeah. Oh, what, so, what, what happened to him? He turned to death. Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Uh, uh, so, um, as you guys make your way out, you see your little dwarf friend, and what is your report? Um, I don't remember his voice, so I can't do it. So, <laughs> riches beyond compare. Very profitable down there, but rather dangerous. But I think most of the... <laughs> the little robot things were, were taken out. Uh, we killed quite a few of them. There's a few left. Uh, but I think if you took a good, oh, I don't know, five to, to seven fighters down there, you could easily take out the rest of them, no problem. And then there's an amazing amount of gold and riches down there. Walls lined with gold and gems and platinum and silver and everything. Oh, oh yeah. We'll have to start organizing a, a mercenary guild to come in and clear the rest of these annoying creatures out. Would you be willing to come back for another try at it and lead the mercenaries through the different areas that you've been through? I would be very happy to do this indeed. Oh, of be course. I just need to go for... check on one of my estates real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and the tiara you're wearing, is that loot from down in the caves? Oh. No, no, I brought that with me. As you do know, taking any valuables from the cave, and I can see you each have different items that you did not originally have when you went into there, would none avoid your commission? Oh. Oh, you mean uh, my sir? dress? I'm sorry. I, c I could certainly take it off for you. And I start to like undo it as I'm standing there. And I have he no doesn't care. He wants his money. <laughs> and I have no <laughs> clue what you're talking about. All of this stuff came out of my bag that I brought in with me. Hey, let me just insight a natural 20. <laughs> he doesn't uh, buy it Natural 20 for my deception, making it a 26. <laughs> No, it's actually a natural 20. I meet, I beat. <laughs> doesn't believe. Wow. He has a plus six to his insight? Natural 20 still. Oh, no. Actually, no, it still wouldn't. <sighs> natural 20 is such a weird thing. If um, it's, if it's I would say it would be I don't have a character skill. sheet okay. rolled up for him, so I don't have stats. <laughs> is it a plus six? <laughs> it is now. He's a corporate... It's a corporate <laughs> negotiator. Uh, I'll say it's fine, but he doesn't believe you, so he's still going to cancel your contract because he's corrupt as hell. Ah. Oh, I couldn't account for corruption. Oh. 
<laughs> the most corrupt character could co count for corruption. <laughs> oh, well, just because he is corrupt doesn't mean he can see corruption in other people. Anyway, no, it's, it's like true. Sarcasm. His insight is only plus one. So with that, <laughs> you guys are still made off with way more money than we're paying you anyway. As yeah. I'll tell you the items that you gain. So Ben already knows he got a plus two shield, which in itself is an amazingly rare item yeah. of heroic levels. But you're, you know, you got a little fancy like satin ribbon that you never asked about the material. So you've got a fancy ribbon, and then what was it? So Kim, you got a the emerald mm -hmm. was a amulet of plant speaking. Of plant oh. speaking. Yeah, talk to plant. You can cast it at will. Nice, nice. You have got uh, sapphire is cold resistant, and nice. Sam the ruby you got is fire resistant. Ooh. And and I'll assume you break open to that chest anyway. There's thirty pieces of platinum. There's 150 gold and three electron bars in the chest. Wow. Along with an, yeah, along with an assortment of just random small gems that are worth about 1,500 gold. Okay. Man. Three electron bars. How much electrum platinum? Like, electrons like just below gold, but above silver. I think it's like one yeah. of the weird middle oh, ones. Oh, that, that five stupid crap that they yeah. invented for five, fifth edition for some reason. Yeah. Well, Alabari's gonna be able to pay enough for her wizard friend to get her back to her actual home. Yes, and I can retire to my state so i will and uh see you also later talking on the different facts of your tiara sam Ooh. it slowly corrupts the user draining them of their <laughs> luck and their skills and that's what happened to this entire kingdom the crown is worn <laughs> the yeah the wielder of the tiara becomes the sort of thrall of the crown wielder um, and you pretty much slowly fall into a mad love that crushes your whole system anything oh. you love and desire is destroyed around you as you try and thirst for more power <gasps> story of wit's life <laughs> Um, the yeah. hole that you guys didn't go into was the lair of a beholder. We figured. We yeah. secretly gave these items to the creatures before. It's a long line of beholders that have just held this little area to themselves. And <laughs> the room of the teleporter is where they've got their supplies from. It used to cast it used to cor it corrupted all the drones so long ago that it didn't recognize them it could go through the, the facility freely and they wouldn't even see it all the robots were just they're breaking down from no maintenance and it's just a corrupt protocol that just spread across all them like a virus excellent next time, cool. next time someone, someone came out of the uh, throne room they all broke into a civil war that's awesome that wonderful there'd cool. be almost nothing for them to fight when they go back down there <laughs> Awesome. The, yeah, only the edge guards are the ones that weren't corrupted, and that's why they tried to kill B9. Uh, oh, oh, that was that was a ton of fun. Thank you. Yeah, that was yeah, really cool. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you for listening to the conclusion of Glamorous Guests Part 4, Flight. Man, we barely got out of there, and we're just lucky Ryan couldn't roll that night. If you enjoy what we do, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, or wherever you listen to it. It really helps us out. If you leave a five-star review, we'll read it on air. Please check us out on Twitter at Beholders iPod and our website at www.beholdersicast.com. You can follow Orion, who DM'd this episode, at Duff Duff the Third. Sam, who played Wit, at Samslot 007. Kim, who played Alvari, at Mets Girl. Ben, who played Holder, at Miro 4D2. And Alex, who will be returning with Beholders Eye next week, at Alex DMBE. Editing and effects by Sam Canary. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. All music by filmmusic.io. Age of AI instrumental by Sasha Endy. Age of AI feat Kara Square by Sasha Endy. Darkling by Kevin McLeod. Lord of the Land by Kevin McLeod. New Flute by Kevin McLeod. License Creative Commons. Creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash buy forward slash 4.0. All sound effects from zapsplat.com. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. Creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash buy forward slash 4.0. Thanks and we'll see you next week.